Hello and welcome to my sixth video on string algorithms. Today we'll be going over a topic called strings, periods and borders and we'll dig into exact pattern matching using border arrays and look at the knuth morris pratt algorithm. So we'll start by just going over some notation and terminology we should already know but it's essential for the following. So x is an array of lengths n of a which is a string on the alphabet a. The letter at position i is x of i, i.e. x is x1, x2 up to xn. xi up to j is xi, xi plus 1 up to j is a substring of x of length j minus i plus 1. And a proper substring if j minus i plus 1 is less than n, meaning less than the length of the entire string. It occurs in x at position i. The substring x1 up to i is a prefix of x and proper prefix if i is less than n and xi up to n is a suffix of x and a proper suffix if i is larger than 1. So today we'll be looking at a non-trivial algorithm for computing what is called the border array of a string. The algorithm is based on a semi-clever insight into the structure of a border. It has a nice time analysis and border arrays are important for fast algorithms for exact pattern matching. So a border of x is any proper prefix of x that equals a suffix of x. So an example of the string a b a a b a a b we have the border AB given that it is both a prefix and a suffix. The same is true for AB AAB. Note that overlapping borders of a string imply that the string is periodic, meaning that the string AB AA BA AB can be broken down to ABA ABA AB, which is two repetitions of ABA followed by AB, which is roughly ABA to the power of 8 thirds. Let's look at the definition of a string's period, and by that the normal form. We imagine that we have a border B and calculated its length beta. Then we know we have the period P for this border as P equals N minus beta. You can now look at the period as the displacement there is between positions that should be equal to each in the border. Because of this, we can write every string like x equals u to the power of n divided by p equal to u to the power of n divided by p rounded down, u prime, where u is prefix x1 to p and u prime is x1 to n minus n divided by p rounded down times p. In reality this prefix of u is possibly empty. One of the classic lemmas concerning properties of strings is called the periodicity lemma. Let p and q be two periods of x equal to x1 up to n. And let d be the greatest common divisor of p and q. If p plus q is less than equal to n plus d, then d is also a period of x. An example of this can be seen in below for the string x which is the following occurrences of a a b. We see that for the period p equals 9 and q equals 6, d can be calculated to be 3, giving us a period of x. To compute the length of longest border implies normal form. So the length for every index 1 up to n minus 1, if x1 up to i is the same as x n minus i plus 1 up to n, then beta is equal to i. The running time of this is order n squared. Can we do better? Yes, we do it by computing even more. So in the border array beta 1 up to n of x, entry i in beta is the length of the longest border 
of the prefix x1 up to i. We know that beta1 is 0 and if beta i plus 1 is b then beta i is larger than b minus 1 i.e. entry i plus 1 beta is less than entry i in beta plus 1. So an observation is that if entry i plus 1 in beta is b, then x1 up to i has a border of length b minus 1. We need to know how we can compute beta i plus 1 from beta i. Well, we know that if entry beta i plus 1 in x is equal to entry i plus 1 in x, then entry i plus 1 in beta is equal to entry i in beta plus 1. Otherwise, we try to extend the second longest border of x1 up to i, i.e. the longest border of x1 up to beta i. Now, if x entry i of beta of beta plus 1 is equal to x i plus 1, then beta i plus 1 is equal to entry i of beta of beta plus 1. Otherwise, we try to extend the third longest border of x1 up to i. You get the idea. The pseudo code here describes how to build the border array beta of x1 up to n. The correctness of this algorithm falls by construction. Entry i plus 1 in beta is set to b plus 1 or 0 at entry 1, where b is the length of the longest border of x1 up to i which can be extended i.e. entry i plus 1 of x is set to entry b plus 1 of x. The running time of this, if we disregard the while loop, then the time is order n, so total time is order n plus total time of the while loop. So we observe that b is initialized to 0. Second, that b is increased by at most 1 in each iteration of the for loop. The last thing is that b is decreased by at least 1 in every iteration of the while loop, i.e. at most n-2 iterations of the while loop. The time is order n and the space is order n for our string, x plus some constant work additional. Exact pattern matching, a problem in string algorithms. Given text x1 up to n and a pattern p1 up to m, find all occurrences of p in x, i.e. all i where x i to i plus m minus 1 is equal to p1 up to m. The solution to this problem can be solved naively in time order n times m. There of course exist more efficient solutions, both in theory and in practice. I will begin to describe to you a simple solution based on border arrays that has a worst case running time of order n plus m, and we will see the classic knuth morris pratt algorithm that also has a worst case running time of order n plus m. So for exact pattern matching, let's call this algorithm the BA algorithm. Step 1 is to construct s1 up to n plus m plus 1 like p dollar x and its borders array beta 1 up to n plus m plus 1. We roughly get the illustration below. The first observation is that no border of s has length more than m because of the special character dollar. Next, p occurs in x positions i minus m plus 1 minus m plus 1 equals to i minus 2m if and only if beta i equals to m. So our second step is to report an occurrence of p in x at position i minus 2m if and only if beta i is equal to m. This will take time and space order n plus m. Now let's dig into knut morris pratt algorithm. The problem in hand is given a string Let's take this example and a pattern P, which in this case is BBBA. Find all occurrences of P in X, which as you see occur at position 6 and 17. So our M is the length of P. 
The simple algorithm like this is to scan along x and try to match p using the inner for loop. Let's take a quick example. We start at position 1 and try to match our first pattern character to the first character in the string. Here we get a match match. So we increment our i to 2. Here we get a match. So we match the next character of our pattern. And we continue and find a match match. Now we increment i and start matching again and again. Find a mismatch. Here on the second character of our pattern. And we continue on. At some point we find a match starting at i equals 6 that match our entire pattern. So we break and report a match and continue on. So you might notice a few problems with this. First of all, the running time is order length of the string times pattern length. As you see we compare strings we know do not match, like this below. So we observe that if a prefix of length h of p matches at index i, then p cannot match at i prime in i, i plus h, unless p1 up to h minus i prime minus i equals p i prime minus i to h, i.e. p1 up to h minus i prime minus a is the border of p1 up to h. So we use a trick that uses borders. If we get a mismatch at x i plus h plus 1, then shift p to align the prefix border with the previous suffix border of p1 up to h. If we don't move the index into x, the conceptual shift of p is just moving the index in p to index h in b plus 1. This is the idea of Knuth Morris Pratt. So we got three functions the pre processing, a help routine, and our main. So pre processing, we build board array B, set index 1 in B prime to 0, and for index 2 up to M plus 1 in B, we set the index to the last index plus 1. Now in main, we call match in our while loop, which is the matching of string and pattern and return the indices of how far it got before it found a mismatch, and report following the theory described before. So a quick example of this. First pre-processing. We have our pattern P, which is BBBA. Our board array is 0, 1, 2, 0, and B prime is 0, 1, 2, 3, 1. Now we enter main and set our initial position i and j to 1. We call our subroutine match, which find a mismatch and increment i to 2. Next we find a mismatch on i equals 4. Now we only have to start matching from the last known match with its j equals 1, on i equals 3. So we start matching j equals 2 and i equals 4. When we find a match we report it and start matching after the match. We now state the time is bounded by the sum of matches and mid-matches. So why is this? Well, each match increases i. Each mismatch either increases i or p's position conceptually. The number of matches is bounded by n. Mismatches is bounded by n plus n minus m, giving a runtime of order n. Thank you for watching this video about strings, periods and borders. We also got to come around the knuth morris pratt algorithm. For my next video I will be discussing the Boyer-Moore algorithm, which is another algorithm for exact pattern matching. If you have any questions about this video or suggestion for future material, please go write a comment or send me an email which will be posted in the video description.